As a female who has worked in the luxury and auction business for over 20 years, I am delighted by the emergence of female artists, especially in Asia. There are designers, collectors, artists of all walks of life who are breaking down barriers and changing the art world. Among them, a celebrated female jewelry artist, Cindy Chow. Today, I am taking you to Cindy's newly opened gallery, where we will hear the incredible stories behind this talented female artist. We're celebrating International Women's Day this month, and we're celebrating women's journey in life. Whether they are artists or designers, I'd like to hear your journey as a designer and as a woman in this industry. In my industry, over the past centuries, it's been dominated by Western male. And it is challenging, you know, especially for young female and as an Asian. I remember I, I started carrying the luggage filled with all my wax sculpture along the way to Europe. And I received a lot of looks with doubts and decline from the, the European pressmen. What was your first break? I grew up as uh, the granddaughter of architect and the daughter of sculptor. They molded me, become who I am today. The mind of the architect right. and the hands of sculptor helps me pull my ideas and emotion into the wax sculpting. From doubt, we develop it the trust in believing in each other. Nowadays, they become my best partner. How do you see the entire landscape of being a female leader, career woman? Are there many female auctioneers? In Asia, there is quite many. This tells you that in this new generation, there is more embracing and celebration of women Hammers up. in leadership. Thank you very much. And we see in artists, so you'll see all the celebration of British contemporary female artists like Cicely Brown and Bridget Riley. But then we go back to Asia, we have great Asian artists like Christina Aichu, we have Marina Cruz, of course we have Yoyoi Kusama that's very celebrated globally. I really think it's a new frontier for women. The opportunities are endless basically. You are also a mother too. For women, it's going to be even more challenging because that balancing is what really um, takes lots of creativity. Yeah, and it's hard because I also have a son as well. You know, when a lot of people ask Jasper, which is my son, like, are you the only child of a Cindy? He always said, no, I'm the second. Because the first one is a Cindy <laughs> Chow, the art jewel. <laughs> no, it was very tough, you know, and especially I was a single mother. So I made a very painful decision right. when Jasper was nine years old. I need to send him off to the boarding school overseas to make sure he has the best care and the education. And in 2021, I was receiving a Chevalier des Arts et Lettres in Paris from the French Ministry of Culture in Art. Jasper was the one who interpreted the entire ceremony from French to English. And at the moment, for me, it's like, I couldn't wish anything more, you know, like all the sacrifices we made you know, for him, for me. And this is a very emotional moment. But it's all worth it. You know? In Chinese, there's a saying, Yan chuan bu you know. So I think they, they look up to you because of your behavior. And then they, they just learn from that. You know? My grandfather always shared to me, Ren hui sui zhe shi jian. It's the legacy. That's a very strong message to, to all the young women in the world. But if you ask me, if there anything I want to give it to the new young generation being the, the, in the jewelry industry, I would say, don't do that. <laughs> it's hard, it's tough, you know. Unless you really put your mind really clear about really what you want, you know. How about you? Tell us. Think of every person you meet as a long-term relationship. Don't think short-term. You'll be able to see a much greater world that may be able to create who you are tomorrow. Cindy Chow was once a young designer forging her path in Europe and is now a jewelry artist respected around the world. Her artistic journey resembles that of a butterfly. 
While we celebrate Cindy's story, we are celebrating the achievements of all females. We're all butterflies in our own ways, bold yet fragile, breaking through our cocoons, and spreading our wings far and beyond our dreams. <laughs>